Have you ever wondered why Jesus walked on the water? What was he doing? He was, he was showing us his authority over the waters. Jesus spoke to the waters and the winds. When, when he was in that ship and there was a great storm, he rebuked the winds. There was something demonic behind those winds. He walked on the water, and then when he got to the other side, he met a man possessed with a legion of demons. And when he cast the demons out, they went into the swine and the pigs, and the, pins, the pigs ran down into the water. Why did those pigs go into the waters? Well, could it be that those spirits in that man and in that region were connected to the waters? Now, the reason why I want to share this is not so you can get spooky and go and do some crazy stuff on the waters. But I want to stir you up and, and, and really let you know that God wants us to begin to do some exploits. And God is going to begin to raise up in cities prayer teams and churches that will deal with this marine kingdom and deal with the strongholds that are coming out of the waters. Now, a lot of pastors are not going to deal with it. I know that. A lot of them think this is crazy. And a lot of them don't even cast out devils. So if you don't even cast out devils, I know you're not ready for the waters and the heavenlies. Amen. We're just going to try to get you in deliverance first, at least to believe there is a devil. There's, there are witches and there are evil people that practice witchcraft on the waters waters. Don't fool yourself. A lot of stuff is done on the waters. Amen. There have been covenants made with rivers and, and with waters. In the book of Revelation, there are four angels that are released from the river Euphrates. In, in the book of Revelation, there's a lot of witchcraft that has been done on, on, on waters, and, and the enemy tries to use that and tries to curse God's people. Jezebel is a witchcraft spirit. She's connected to the waters, but, but God is causing us to rise up and, and begin to break these powers and begin to release our cities and our capital this from the powers of the enemy. Listen, Job chapter 9 and verse number 8 tells us that God treads upon the waters. Let me say this. I, I, I don't mean to say this to make you afraid of water. Some of you already have a demon called fear of drowning in water. We need to cast that out before you go. Amen. You, you were afraid to get baptized. Amen. You thought you were going to drown in three feet of water. So we will get you delivered. I don't want to make you afraid to walk the beach and don't leave out here now looking and, you know, looking at the ocean and say, oh my God, what's in the ocean? Amen. I want you to know that I don't care how many demons operate from the waters. God is the Lord of the waters. Yes. 